Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I'm just gonna like keep vlogging throughout my weeks and continue vlogging after I finish the previous one. So today is Wednesday, it's like just before 11 a.m. I woke up this morning around eight, worked out, I just showered, I picked up my dog from the vet and I have some like errands to do today so I figured I would take you with me and start off the vlog right here. So I just got out of the shower, I'm wearing my new um, Majuri croissant earrings that were in the last vlog that I got and I love them and also I am breaking out like crazy but <laughs> that's fine. But let me just show you what I am wearing. So I'm wearing these new leggings I got from Aritzia, the Atmosphere ones. They're like brown, which is having a moment right now. And these are such a good dupe for Lululemon Aligns. They're like $60 instead of 100 and they're so comfy. So I'm wearing these. I'm wearing it with my Fear of God Essentials hoodie and that's it. And the earrings, that is my very simple comfy look for today um i'm just gonna be running some errands before the stay at home order starts tomorrow so i'm just gonna like make a day of it drive around maybe get some matcha somewhere or something but yeah subscribe so that you can keep up with me follow me on instagram and i hope you enjoy this vlog Watch my temper, please don't tempt me Filling up with prana, all them drugs leave you empty You ain't know how long I spend alone Just to figure out my soul You ain't know, you ain't know, you ain't know You ain't know, you ain't know You ain't know, you ain't know I really been on my- Hi guys, so I just got into the car I'm actually about to go to a nut bar in Toronto It's like a health restaurant type of place. I'm gonna get an avocado toast because I haven't eaten breakfast. It's almost noon. I'm hungry and we are like out of avocados and breakfast food at my house. So I'm gonna go grab that and then I need to go to the grocery store to grab a couple things for the house. And then I'm actually gonna bake some banana bread when I get home because I have two super ripe bananas. So I will catch up with you guys um, when I get my breakfast. Okay, so I just got the avocado toast. It has radishes and nutritional yeast on it. It's so good. And then I also got a like cookie dough bite. All their desserts are raw and vegan and so good. So I'm going to dig into this. Sorry, my wheel is like in your way, but. Mmm. It's so good. I usually hate nutritional yeast, but on this toast, it's so good. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and I only picked up a few things because we didn't need like a ton of stuff. This is for my whole household because I live with my family. So I figured I would just do a little haul. So I got some sliced mushrooms for like pasta and just caramelizing this with onions is really good got a green juice this one is actually my favorite it has like a lot of ginger in it really good some brussels sprouts baby carrots hummus favorite snack combo some organic raspberries i got some oat flour this whole bag was only seven dollars which is pretty good like it's a really big it's one kilogram so oat flour i'm gonna make some banana bread i got the peanut butter midday squares which is my favorite flavor so good the crispy rice lily's chocolate which literally tastes like a crunch bar it's amazing i found this brand there that i've seen on instagram um so i picked up this green tea antioxidant detox clay mask and i'm excited to try this out got some pasture raised eggs the only kind of eggs i eat two mangoes got some bananas we have a lot here but like we go through bananas like crazy in my house and then i found this new oat milk that i have never seen i don't even natural the world is natural i guess is the brand but the only ingredients are water and 15 percent oat which is amazing like there's no fillers or anything so i'm excited to try and this one is barista so i'm guessing it's gonna froth really really well so 
I'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, that is just my little mini grocery haul. I am about to make some banana bread because as you saw before, we have some super ripe bananas here. And I'm using my own recipe and it's so good not to be biased, but it's this one on my Instagram and it's pretty easy. There's only a few ingredients, so highly recommend. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, by the way, definitely follow me. I post lots of recipes and all that good stuff. So let's make some banana bread. Tip for banana bread, if you guys are making banana bread, use like super ripe bananas that are like black basically. Like I know it's kind of gross to think, but the riper, the sweeter. So, I mean, I still add sugar obviously, but it makes it just a little more naturally sweet, which is always nice. I just took it out of the oven and it looks so good. The house smells amazing. I cannot wait to cut into this. So I'm just making a little salad for lunch with some kale and like a little mini veggie burger thing. I don't know if everybody knows this, but I feel like some people don't because sometimes when I get kale in a salad out, it is like super hard and dense. So if you have kale, massage it with like olive oil or lemon juice for a couple minutes until it gets wilted. Um, it makes it so much easier to digest, makes it taste way better. And it's not as like stiff and like hard, like it just is a lot softer. So if you don't do that with your kale and you eat kale, I highly recommend you literally need like a tiny little drop of oil and you just massage it with your hands until um, it basically shrinks and turns like a super bright green. So I just put a little olive oil and you literally massage it with your hands and it will get incorporated. You can already see it's getting so much smaller and the green is just a lot more vibrant. It is gonna taste a lot better and will be a lot easier to chew. So definitely do this if you don't. Okay, so I added the massaged kale, a little bit of spinach, some cherry tomatoes, cucumber, um, some hummus, a little guacamole, and then I just put these little like sweet potato bite things in the oven and I'm just gonna cut them up and put them in the salad and I'm also, using this honey mustard dressing from Primal Kitchen. It's so good and I love all their stuff because the ingredients are really, really simple. A lot of store-bought dressings are like sunflower oil or canola oil and this one is avocado with all real ingredients and it tastes really good. So that is my little lunch. Okay, so I actually just got two packages in the mail and I figured I would just open them on camera. I know what they both are. Um, I paid for these, did not get these for free, obviously, but the first one is from Indigo and I'm very excited about this. Indigo is like Canada's um, Kohl's, I think the bookstore or Barnes and Noble. Indigo is Canada's version of Barnes and Noble, basically. I got You Are the Universe, um, Discovering Your Cosmic Self and Why It Matters by Deepak Chopra. I'm very excited to read this book. Second one I'm so excited for is from Necessaire. I am obsessed with all their products. It's like a non-toxic body product brand. And they had an insane deal the other week for like full size of their body products, pretty much all of them, for $80. And one of them in this bundle is 60 Canadian dollars on its own. So crazy steel i need to like show you guys this packaging because it's gorgeous okay the packaging i literally cannot look at this it's so beautiful yeah it's stunning so we got everything um is either fragrance free or i got the eucalyptus scent so we got the body lotion the exfoliator the body wash and the body serum i literally am so excited all the best stuff ever. Okay, I just cut into the banana bread and it is looking quite good. If it wants to focus, let's do a little taste test. 
I mean, I don't see how it's gonna be bad. It's literally my recipe, but. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. It's really good. I'll leave the recipe linked in the description for you guys so you can make it. It's really good. So it's a few hours later. I was just chilling. I watched some Shit's Creek. Best show ever. If you haven't watched it, you really should. Um, I did some laundry and now I'm just about to cook some dinner. And this is my like favorite pasta. It's the Tinkiata brown rice pasta. Tastes like normal pasta, but it's a little bit healthier and it's gluten free. And then I'm trying out this sauce which is I think a local company or it's from Montreal, but it's just a tomato basil sauce from the brand Stefano. Really simple ingredients. It is Italian whole peeled tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, sea salt, garlic, and basil. So probably gonna add some mushrooms and greens into that. And then we're gonna have a side salad as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling for the rest of the night. I will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is the next day. I just got back from walking my dog and I'm opening up a new one of my vitamins, which if you guys don't know, I love the Mary Ruth's Organics vitamins because they're liquid and I am a literal child. Like I can't take pills, I'm just really bad at it. Um, so I love this. It has like all your essential vitamins in like a really good tasting liquid. If I could open it, that would be great. All right guys, so I just made my coffee as you saw. So stunning, this coffee. Um, today is Thursday and pretty much um, I have nothing to do today. My classes actually start tomorrow. So I have been waiting for my classes to like get put on our online thing and get emails from my profs and I just haven't gotten any yet which is kind of frustrating I haven't checked yet today but as of yesterday I haven't gotten any and I want to start like planning out my semester going through all my syllabus and like writing all my assignments and stuff for what I have to do and I just can't yet and I kind of wanted to do that before class actually started but if my class doesn't even get put up, like how will I access my class? I have class from 9 to 12 a.m. tomorrow. So not really sure about that. Mm, that's good. But if that is posted, then I'm going to do that today. I have to go to the bank to deposit a check. How exciting. And that's it. Maybe I'll like make something. Other than that, not much else is going on around here. That post-workout hair... So I just did my Melissa Wood Health Flow for the day. I posted a TikTok and a reel. So I was just like checking up on that a little bit. And now I'm going to get ready. And by get ready, I mean put on a new pair of sweatpants and a sweater. And then I'm gonna head downstairs with my computer and make some breakfast. So let's go. Okay, so I'm just looking on my like school site and everything. One of my classes was uploaded finally. It's the one that I have tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna like look through that syllabus and add stuff into my calendar and just like take all the dates of the assignments and stuff so I can be on top of it. So yeah. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Um, I honestly just did not continue vlogging yesterday afternoon because I didn't do anything. I was just like watching Netflix all day, but today is finally the first day of classes for me. I have my first class at nine, so I woke up around 7.30, did my morning routine, did a little workout, read and journaled, and I'm about to go downstairs and make a matcha. And I'm very excited for school to start, right now at least, so I have something to do every day. Um, I might not feel the same in two weeks when I'm like drowning in work and readings, but 
for now i'm definitely looking forward to having some kind of structure and schedule so let's go make some matcha or coffee i don't know yet Hi guys, so um, I'm literally the worst kind of person, but my first class, it just started and I already, like from reading the syllabus the other day, like I already was not really into it. It's just like a lot of group work and participation and like interacting, which is just not my kind of class. Like I'm not the kind of person like ever, I've never in my life been like one to just participate all the time in class and talk and whatever. And this professor on Zoom just started calling out random people's names asking them questions so i left literally right away and i just dropped the class and applied and enrolled in another one in replacement of that um it just wasn't gonna work out that's like definitely a toxic trait where i just like don't even try it and i just don't like it and drop it but it's fine so yeah that's where my morning is at i now have my second class at three so i have a phone call with my boss for my new job coming up and then I'm probably just gonna shoot some content because I'm actually doing a Instagram takeover with one of my favorite companies tomorrow and it's a pre-recorded one. So I need to like film those and send them over. So yeah, my morning turned out a little bit different but I'm not mad at it because I woke up and I have time to do stuff with my day. So I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Okay. Hi guys, so it has been a little bit. I got off a really good 40 minute call for my job. It's content creation for like a local coffee brand doing their social media and stuff. So I got off a call for that and I just made some oatmeal, filmed my story takeover for the company. I need to edit that up now. And I'm also going through my classes now and I'm gonna add everything into my agenda like I write down all the assignments for the whole semester just an example this was November so I literally wrote down all the work that I had due when it was due so that I can see everything in like one big overview instead of having to go through the syllabus all the time it is so much easier and just really helpful so I'm gonna do that and I will catch up when there's something else to do Okay, so I just finished putting as much as I could into the days. Some of the things don't have like a set due date right now. So I'm not going to put it in just because I don't want to mess it up. But I just color code the classes and pretty much just put every single thing in there. And it's super easy to be able to see everything that I have due. And then I also use Google Calendar to put in all the times of my classes and as like more stuff comes up, I will add it in there. But yeah, this is pretty much just how I keep myself organized. Guys, I'm so excited. I just got a package in the mail. I ordered these jeans from Depop that look exactly like the A Goldie like crossover ones where the button is like not even. Those are like $300 and Princess Polly also has them and I was gonna order them, but the shipping and duties to Canada was ridiculous. These were $40, so I'm gonna open them and try them on. And if they're cute, I will link them for you to the Depop store. Okay, so it came in compostable packaging, which we love. And also they shipped it yesterday and it already came. So it's been a day. First impressions, they're really, really cute. They don't have rips in them, but I could easily do that myself. And it came with a little silk scrunchie, so Let's try them on. I'm kind of scared. It said that they fit big, so I got a 26 because I'm usually a 27 and I hope that they actually fit because if they don't, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> okay, so ignore that I just tucked this in just so you could see. They're super cute. They're actually like a little snug, but once I wear them and like sit in them and stuff, they'll definitely loosen up. But what I love is that they fit my whole leg. I'm 5'7 and I feel like most jeans just like don't fit my entire leg so that's really nice they're super comfy super stretchy and i really like them they're kind of awkward to put on because you have to like reach over so much to get this button in and to get the button that's over here in but super cute for 40 dollars okay it is a little bit later um i'm about to have my second class of the day it's a photoshop class so i'm actually 
pretty excited for that should be interesting and fun and then um i'm just gonna be chilling the rest of the night cooking dinner with my mom maybe watching a movie or two i'll update you after my class i guess so it's a little bit later i'm just prepping some dinner and i thought that i would share like my favorite fish recipe it's super easy um next clip if you are disgusted by like raw fish then skip over so yeah <laughs> but this is arctic char for tonight but this like we do this on salmon all the time literally any fish you lay the bottom with some oil so it doesn't stick and then i rub dijon mustard all over it with some salt pepper i do a drizzle of maple syrup over the whole thing so it's like a dijon maple fish and then big chunks of garlic all over it with salt and pepper as i said you cook it in the oven until it is all ready and it is honestly the best recipe ever so if you're looking for a super quick and easy way to cook your fish that's maybe a little different than what you usually do i highly recommend this it is always like a 10 out of 10 and it's even better if you let it marinate a little longer so the mustard and like all the flavors can sort of sit in there a little bit but it's so good good morning guys it is sunday today um barely vlogged after yesterday just because again i didn't really do anything but today i finally have something to do i am going on a little mini road trip to pick up my sister who has been visiting her friends um who like are at university she's not right now so she's been visiting them for the last like week and i'm going to pick her up instead of her taking the train back because of COVID and everything, I would rather pick her up and I have nothing to do. So it's about an hour and like 45 minutes away. So that's the big plan today. Um, we're probably gonna get some Starbucks and Tim Hortons bagel before we hit the road once I'm there, but I will bring my camera and update you on anything that comes up. So let's go. Hi guys, so I just got home from driving and I'm now about to do my nails, but I figured I would just end off the vlog here because it's Sunday and I'll start a new one um, sometime this week. So as usual, if you guys enjoyed, definitely subscribe so you can keep up with me. Check out all my socials. My Instagram will be linked down below and on the screen and definitely like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good week. Oh, 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 oh,